January 12th, the little toe. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. And if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 26, New King James Version. Presently, I broke my little toe. I can't tell you how my little toe happened to slam into the leg of the nightstand so hard that it broke. But I can tell you this collision was unmistakable and painful. I dropped to the floor in instant agony. Before my eyes, my toe swelled up and turned various shades of blue and purple. I'm sure many of you who have had similar experiences are feeling my pain right now. And those of you who haven't experienced it personally are wincing at the thought of it. For weeks, I could not wear shoes or even walk normally because certain movements made my toe hurt intensely. I didn't always know what type of movement would bring on the drop to my knees pain, but I figured it out as the days passed. Who knew that a tiny, seemingly insignificant part of the body could make the entire body fully aware of its needs like that? Ah, the things we take for granted at times. Amidst the pain, the Holy Spirit nudged me and brought me an image to my mind. When one part of our physical body hurts, the whole body suffers in some way. That is true in the church body as well. This body of believers is made up of many individual parts, little toes if you will, and when one of them is hurt, sick or injured, the entire body is affected. As for the body is one, and as many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12, 26, and 27, New King James Version. It is our responsibility as Christians, parts that make up the body, to make sure that the sick, hurt, or injured members of the church body are receiving the care, nurture, and healing they need. After all, how can that body as a whole be well and all that Christ intended if there is pain and sickness among its members? We have a responsibility to bind up the brokenhearted, reach out a helping hand to those in need, and speak words of comfort and hope in season to the weary and discouraged. Will you join me in making sure the body is healthy and happy as possible before our Lord returns to take us home? Samantha Nelson <music>